Well, before I had a relationship with Jesus Christ, I changed my life when I was 17 and really found a, my faith when I was 17. But when I was in like the third, fourth, fifth grade, I would, I'd come home from school and nobody knew this, but I was sad because, you know, I'd have lunch detention or I'd get in trouble. I know nobody could believe it for getting a little excited in class because I've always been the same person. Like the, anybody that meets me is not surprised with what I do with my life because I'm just living out the same way that I lived when I was in third, fourth, fifth grade and in high school. It's just I do it for faith and for sports and for, for the love of Jesus Christ. And I, people didn't know this, but when I was going through tough times in the third, fourth, fifth, sixth grade, I would come home like almost every other day from school. And if I was discouraged, I'd throw on a Rocky movie. And it would pump me up and say, I could do this. All right, I can make it. And I, I would just, I just, he really planted the seeds for me to have a relationship with Christ. Well, fast forward, I end up getting asked to speak. And I just want everyone to know that Rocky is a big deal, but God the Father is really the biggest deal. Because as my brother tells me, hey, Justin, just so you know, he told me when I was like 20, he's like, you know Rocky was a fictional character, right? I go, yes, I know he's a fictional character. But God the Father really saw that when I was younger, struggling, because I can tell you God sees all of your struggles and mine, and he witnesses them, and he internalizes them, and he cares about them. Because I went to Hollywood to give a talk, and they had actually, it was a caged-in school with security guards and, you know, <clears throat> and, you know, basically, uh, it was like going to an airport, pretty much, when you walked in the school. It said, hey, why are you here? Don't talk to any of the kids. This and that. Because they were all Hollywood stars and producers that their kids went to the school. Well, I gave the talk, and this is when I knew Rocky was not only a big part of my life, but that God like saw those tears when I was in the third, fourth, fifth grade. Because I'm at the talk, and after it's over, I, there's kids getting in line just to say thank you for my talk. And one of these girls comes up to me, and she goes, I just want you to know, thank you so much. Your talk meant so much to me. I said, oh, no problem. You know, and she was tearing up, actually. One of the teachers who knew I loved Rocky looks over at me, and she says, hey, do you know who, I know I'm not supposed to tell you, but do you know who that girl was? And I go, no is that was Rocky's daughter, Sylvester Stallone's daughter. I go, oh my goodness. I gave this teacher a Bible and I said, get her to get her dad to sign this and send it to me. I get back home from the trip from Hollywood and in my mailbox at my house in Syracuse, New York was a Bible signed from Rocky, said, keep fighting the good fight of faith. And he signed it, Sylvester Stallone. I didn't realize that not only was Rocky a big part of my life when I was younger, but God saw my tears when I was a kid. And God sees your tears. He sees your shortcomings and he wants to help you. And he sees uh, your challenges and he wants to be there for you. You know, we can endure these trials, but we have to go to God. Our whole purpose in life is not to internalize them and do it on our own. Our whole purpose in life is to internalize them and say, God, you live inside of me. Help me, be with me, strengthen me. So go to God with your challenges because he hears you.